Well, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing the finally doing the uh, MN82 stock versus modified run. So here we are, and this is the stock MN82 not touched first run up through the rocks, stock tires. actually doing a little bit better than I thought it would do up through here. I figured it would be stuck right away, but it's actually making it up through, which is surprising. Well, I guess I can't say it's making it up through. These tires, these tires don't get much grip at all. I don't even think I'm going to make it up through here. I don't think so. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Let's see it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's try the other speed. See what happens. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, we might make it. I don't think so. Let me try a little bit of a different line. Let's go on a full out bonsai run and halfway kind of makes it up there with the battery out of it. So yeah, this is where we're at. I don't think this truck's going to make it up to the top of the hill in these rocks. It just, these tires are just terrible. So I'm going to go get the modified MN82 and we'll see what she does. Okay, I'm back with the modified MN82. So here we go. I'm already stuck on a rock. All right, here we go. As you can see, just even with the tires, not even the ESC, but just the tires themselves makes a huge difference on this truck. I mean, just it doesn't look like it's going as good as the other one, but it is. It's going better. Just got to get that line. These rocks, they like to roll. They tend to roll under the truck. And, uh, cause it to get, uh, uh they, the rocks roll under the truck and try to kind of kick it up. But you can see now that just the tires themselves made a huge difference in this truck in the setup. And the low speed control of that 30 amp 3S WPL, WPL ESC makes all the difference in the world too. It's got pretty decent low speed control. A lot better than the factory one for sure you can see that it made a huge difference climbing up over those rocks than the stock one those stock tires they really look really nice but man they're just no good
you can see this thing if the rocks were planted and not rolling around it makes it hard because they get they get pushed under the truck at different weird angles and hook up onto the axle and if the rocks were stationary and planted it'd be a lot better to see you can see how that one there is underneath it and these rocks are a little slippery too so that doesn't help matters but you can see these tires they make a huge difference on this truck huge it'll get right up through there no problem so we're going to move on to the hill climb so you have to give me a couple minutes to get that set up and we will be back so now we're going to try some different lines on the hill first first up's the stock mn82 here we come not doing bad no nope, there we go you see the drag brakes terrible it doesn't hold it it does manage to make the hill though in that section and see if i can show you the nose happiness of this truck stock It didn't do too bad going down the hill. Kind of impressed, actually. I'm going to go to a different section here. A little bit steeper and see what it does. I don't think no don't think this one's gonna make the hill not in that section okay we're back with the modded MN82 low speed control of that ESC is fantastic works great now I'm gonna go straight over to the spot that I was trying to climb with the stock one and we're gonna see what this one does well we almost made it we're gonna give that another shot Now here we go again. There you go. What a difference tires and weights make. Better con throttle control. There you go down this hill over here. Oh, there we're going down quick now. All right. climb another spot here maybe not okay I'll try it again oh yeah there we go up she goes drag brake on this just is so touchy Let's try that descent again. Definitely a climber now. Come back down, see how she does coming down. Oh, that's a great drag brake on that thing. It holds really nice. 
So yeah, you can see the, there's a huge difference between the control and climbing ability with the modded out and then 82. All right, we're going to go back in the rocks here a little bit. Let me get set up, and I will be right back. So we're back. Another setup position here. We're going to watch this thing, see how it does coming up through these rocks here. I know this isn't the greatest rock course around. I'm going to have something a little bit better here built in the spring and around the house, but this works for now. It's been a long winter. Yeah, I think this thing does ninety percent better than stock, anyhow. That little jumpy and little jumpy in reverse for some reason that time. I don't know. All in all, it's way better than stock though see how those rocks kick underneath it it just that makes it hard to get a good judge on things when they're walking around like that on you I'm gonna go ahead and go down through here and I'll grab the other truck and we'll see what the other truck will do up through here. Stuck on a plant. Stuck on a plant. Oh yeah, here we go. Back in the frame. I'm sorry I was out of frame there, folks. Got her high sided. Oh, we got it. We got it. Oh, yeah. Definitely having 3S in there definitely helps with the wheel speed when you need it. Definitely a fun little truck. All right, I'm going to get the other one, and I will be right back. Okay, here we go with the stock MN82. See what we do through the rocks with this. Oh. Slides around a lot more on these stock tires through here. Well, I gotta say, really not doing too awful bad right here. Definitely doesn't have the grip the other one does, though. That's for sure. But it's not bad. Not bad. I do have to give them credit. Their stock electronics are way better than they used to be. But they're not, not as good as they could be. Bob, actually not doing too bad up here. 
Well, there's not much of a hill to it, so that's what's helping it in this case. But you get any kind of a hill with these tires and rocks, and it it really doesn't want to go. I'm kind of impressed what it's doing here, though. This ain't bad. Not bad at all. Definitely better, better than it did over in the other section, for sure. I'd say they're probably pretty close through here, tied you know, performance-wise. As you can see, like on the hill climb part, though, and the drag brake part, there's no competition there. <clears throat> modified when the wind's out without a doubt but yeah this one not too bad right here I'm kind of impressed all right so we're gonna go do uh, one more steep hill climb and see what they can do there Let me get you set up and I will be back okay we're back and this is one that's more steeper hills I use to test my rigs. So let's see what happens here. This hill's pretty steep. I'm gonna give it three shots and see what happens. All right, you got one more try. All right, let's try the let's try to water out one here and see what happens. So I definitely made it up a little further and didn't make it to the top. So let's give it another try. Oops. Picked up a leaf as a passenger. Here we go, one more. Come on, you can do it. I think it's too wet because I've made this hill with this truck before. I think it's just too wet. All right, we're going to give this one more shot just a little bit further over on the other side of the pole. See what happens there. It's definitely too wet today to make this hill. Oh, yeah, one more trot. See what happens here. Yeah, I'm just digging up the hill. I'm going to try this red one over there, see what we get, and I'm going to call it a day. Oh my, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at that, it made it. Wow. I'm impressed. Totally stock, and it made it. Except for that. That's the nose-heavy part I'm talking about with these trucks.
We're going to give this yellow one one more shot. Well, <laughs> there you have it, folks. <laughs> I had that yellow truck, when it was dry out, walked right up over that hill. Now that it's wet, it won't make it, and the red one goes. Well, that made a surprise for me. Back to the drawing board, I guess. Well, I guess only when it's wet. Might have to do a little more tweaking, maybe try some different tires. So, yeah. There you go. All right, I want to do one more additional rock run before we call it a vet day. Boy, it doesn't want to go anywhere now. Well, that was kind of surprising, but in a way it wasn't surprising because the tires are full of mud now, so. Kind of makes sense. And that is a pretty steep hill in the rocks. So, let's see what the red one does now with muddy tires. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Well, there we go. Tipping over. Come on. You can get up there. Come on. You can get up there. Well, I don't think this one's making it. We're going to give it one more shot, but I don't think it's making it. Uh, these tires just don't, they just don't have the grip the other ones do. Look at that. Prove me wrong. Well, 
she made it up there. So there you go. I got to go back to the drawing board with the other one a little bit, I think. I mean, it definitely does better in certain areas, but uh, I want it better than that. Well, there it is, everybody. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out, and I really do appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.